trade us from across the globe and welcome to the 1529th installment of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. Oscar Carboni here. 35 years plus in this business, many years down on the trading floor. I am absolutely one of the best analyst technicians you will ever find on this planet today. And I am here to teach you a great deal about technical analysis and how to apply that to markets moving forward. So, what we've got on the board is video 1529 is being filmed on a Tuesday night, but it's trading Wednesday, October 5th. 2016. Welcome to trading in Rocktober, traders. You're seeing it already, right? What a month. Rocktober is notorious for markets getting rocked. You've seen the medals. You see what's going on in currencies. You see what's going on in the mini S&P and NASDAQ and such. Things are getting a little rocky here in Rocktober, but don't you worry about it because we don't want to handle volatility here. Up or down, as long as we get movement, it is good for us, and Omni seems to get in tune at some point and catch a lot of it. So let's move forward. As we know, futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial loss, is extremely risky, is extremely risky, <laughs> causes substantial financial loss. I am not joking, kids. We have been catching it right. Thank you, Omni. Thank you. Thank you. But... You don't always catch it right. Omni doesn't always catch it right. When those losses come, they hurt. So <laughs> put your stops in. Know that a stop is your best friend. Know that this is a risky game. And you cowboys that understand the risk, let's get moving rock and roll because I love you cats. Now, if you got the risk and you understand it, there can be a lot of points made in these markets if you handle them correctly. And let's see if we can figure out how to continue our decent streak into tomorrow. Omni starts off red for e the S&P, the Russell, the usual suspects for trading at the onset of trading on Wednesday. Now, markets have been fickle lately, and they've been known to flip and go in the other direction. So at the onset of trading, the first few trades we will do will be selling the rallies in the E-mini S&P, Russell, and then we'll see what happens. Maybe it turns bullish at some point. Who knows? We're starting off bearish. Omni's bearish. We're looking to sell the rallies. So, welcome to trading in Rocktober. If you don't know about Rocktober, you will find that this is a very, very volatile month. You're seeing it already. Just know it as Rocktober and don't sweat it. U.S. indices are still having a breather. Traders, I came before you a couple of videos ago and said, are we in for a breather? Gave you a beautiful chart. We've been in for a breather since. I've removed, do not fall over the downside off my board for just a short period. That's important. So we're expecting a little bit of a segment here, possibly on the downside. We'll see. We'll look at some charts. We'll see how that develops. That's in your U.S. indices, E-mini S&P, Russell, NASDAQ, the usual suspects. Metals taking it on the chin. Have you seen gold and silver? My goodness, taking it on the chin. The flags are working. The, the bearish look, we've broken down out of a flag now, which has turned bearish. A lot of reasons to be short gold, but not forever. And we'll take a look at that. And traders, do not forget something extremely important that's taking place out there. Do not forget about the Dodd-Frank liquidity issue, please. Do not forget this. Listen, we've been in a long bull market, a bullish, great, wonderful, going up market. So Christopher and Barney, if you will, Dodd-Frank, these two guys put together this package a few years back. At least they helped put it together and get it signed. And there's a lot of great stuff in Dodd-Frank that will protect the investor, especially you 401k investors, you long-term investors that aren't professionally trading every day, there are some great things in the Dodd-Frank Act, but one of the really poorly thought of and poorly planned rules is that they removed liquidity from our markets. And if you don't know what liquidity is, we had for years and years and years liquidity that would get created by banks, and it worked like this. If the market is moving and S&P is at 2150 and it goes to 2149, there's a market maker going, I'll buy 49s, I'll sell them at 50. At every single price, there's a market maker. 
Used to be they screamed it out, but then they started doing it electronically. But at any price on the way down or the way up in a market, a big market move, you had banks going buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, creating liquidity. The liquidity has been removed, thank you, Dodd Frank, from the futures arena and from the stock markets. And on the way up, it is not noticeable. It doesn't matter. The market's going up. People are long. Everything's great. If we ever turn into a bear market, and you notice with days just like today, there is a vacuum of liquidity. If there are no banks in there going buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell at every price movement, on the way down, it will just vacuum down. Now, understand this. Do you remember how fast we cracked in 2008 into 2009? We had a full contingent of market makers back then. What the hell is going to happen this time without them? I kid you not, it is a flaw. Dodd Frank's got some great stuff. Removing liquidity from our markets doesn't matter so much on the upside. God forbid we turn into a bear market. You will see it like you've seen in gold today. There'll be no buyers. Everyone's going to be on the sell side when this thing finally does crack. And I'm not calling for the top. You know what I'm saying? We might be in a segment right now heading down. I'm not calling for the top. But I am telling you, do not forget about this Dodd Frank liquidity issue. It's a biggie. More about that if we continue to move lower. Traders, I'm holding an Omni camp held live here in Las Vegas. It is a four-day session held live where I will teach you the art of Oscar's Market Navigational Indicator, the Omni. I will teach those trades to you, and you will be able to come up with your own Omni trades. And speaking of the Omni, Omniax, have we been kicking the market asses? Oh, what? My God. Plain English. There's no other word to call it. Omni has been kicking butt. My God. We don't always win. Head down, nose to the grindstone, on to the next trade. I understand that, but hey, hey, while it's working... Shovel those points in, kids, because it doesn't always work so well. All right, so don't forget Dodd Frank. Metals take it on the chin. I'm going to show you that now. Indices are having a breather, and Oscar is holding an Omnicamp. Let me finish that for you. Omnicamp 2017. Now, I only hold three, maybe four maximum Omnicamps a year. I only invite five to six maximum Omniacs at each camp. I am not teaching this to masses of people. I will never, ever mass produce this Omni. I will never, ever show it to a room full of people. I hand select five or six of you from a stack of applications each time I hold an Omni camp, and those select few will learn the Omni. If you are ready to call the markets the way Omni does, come to livewithoscar.com, click the OmniCamp banner, fill out a quick application, and I will personally call you and qualify you for one of the five open seats. That will be either, I've got open weeks here, it's either Jan 26th through the 31st, last weekend in January, or it's Feb 9th through the 14th, second weekend in Feb. These are both open. It's only going to be one OmniCamp, one of those two weeks. When a few of you call in, I'll let you decide which of these is the best of the two weeks. So that's OmniCamp. That's me teaching you how to call the Omni right here live in Las Vegas. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. I put this chart in front of you on this day and said, hmm, small breather coming. Look at what we've had since. It's been a breather, not a crack a small breather. What's interesting about that, and for those who are, you know, those who have seizures, be careful because I got some great new technology here, but don't go into a seizure now. Are you ready? Woohoo! Here we go. Here's the technology. I'm moving up in the world. If you look here, we bounced off that line like what happened here, and you went down to the bottom. Bounced off the line, not quite to the bottom, couldn't quite make it to the top, and are heading back down again. The likelihood is you may end up down here, very interesting, right? We'll see what happens. Now, on top of that, you could actually stretch this a little bit and call this a head and shoulders, right? So you may have a little head and shoulders there starting to head down towards this line. We shall see for now. We'll just call it a market having a small breather. That's your Dow Jones Industrial Average, but it is in that breather that we thought was coming. E-mini S&P Daily Bar. Still wrangling with OTATMA, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. But is this some sort of a weird flag with a very small pole? What's still a flag? Is that what's developing right here? 
Are we going to crack the Omni and continue down? For now, we are above the Omni. We are selling rallies, but gingerly, and we're getting out quickly on dips because we are above the Omni average right now. And when you are above it, you basically stay above it. But that could be a bear flag, right? That's an interesting little thing going on there. So let's see, and that's your Emin the S&P and your Dow Jones. Traders, let's move it out to gold. Look what gold has done. This was what looked to be a big bull flag building. And then crack we go. But the important thing about that is the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. Look at the hold here. Look at the rally. Look at the hold here. Look at the rally. Look at the hold here. Look at the rally. Look at the break here. And look at the dump. Wow. A one-day smackdown. All you did was get past the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary. So... Interesting average, interesting market. That's your goal, but we're not done. Take another look at this. Here's your silver, another metal. The same thing happened, traders. Look, bang, you held, held, held. Smackdown, big rally, held, rally, held, rally. And then out of nowhere, Austin gets crazy with his technology and shows you that you break through the average and smash. Look at the size of that drop. Now, on top of that, not only did you break through the average on this day, settle here and then dump to here, this was a big bull flag, and right now you are beneath that bull flag. You see it? Flag bottom, flag top, flag pole. You have a big flag, but you broke through it. As, as of now, you are below that flag. Interesting happenings in the metals. Then we move out to crude traders. I started showing you this crude chart when we were about here, and I said, now that we're above the average, let's start thinking about buying. Crude has been very, very nice to the Omniac lately, as S&P has, as gold has. The hunt has been on in crude, and it has been a very smart hunt. And right now, you are still in some form of an F flag. But in all honesty, we are hands off for crude for trading on the 5th of Rocktober. We're going to do no trading in crude. We're just going to watch it. And then we've got 30-year bonds. I'm going to introduce a new chart to you. I haven't been showing you a lot of bonds, but very interesting market here. Let's look at it. 30-year T-bonds, barometer of whether or not we are raising or lowering or doing nothing with interest rates. As you know, we've done nothing with interest rates except for one time, and that time was in December last year. Bonds did come off for that period, but then started to rally since October. And October of last year until now, bonds have had a tremendous, tremendous rally. So, interesting, interesting. So, right about, let's see if I could show you when they did their rates. Right about here, they raised rates. This is a weekly chart. We came off, we came off, we came off, we hit this line and started to go right back up. Raising rates didn't knock the market down. However, look what's happening here. We, it looks to me like the bond market is starting to price in some kind of a rate raise because it is coming down in this channel and heading back towards this line once again. Isn't that interesting? This is what happened last time there was a rate hike. So it looks like it's heading down. Now, this is a weekly chart. You must understand each one of these bars is a whole week's worth of trading. It takes a long time for things to develop. But you see this channel we're in here, and you see the really big channel? Big channel, bullish, rates stay low. This channel shows us that rates may be going up because when you raise interest rates, it inherently pushes down the bond market. So if you raise rates and rates go up, inherently your bond market futures should go down. So that looks like it's happening. Now I'm going to blow up this section for you right here and show you what else we're looking at. When you blow that section up, traders, what you find is that there's a bear flag very, very smartly developed inside of that channel, inside of the bigger channel, smaller channel, bear flag. That's your bonds. Let's start keeping an eye on bonds. I don't usually show them to you, but I have a feeling it is time for us to start watching them much closer. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own analysis. I will meet you all at LiveWithOscar.com. So, traders, you've seen the charts, and now you've got my technical argument for why. Uh, first, I wanted to welcome you to Rocktober. It sure does get rocky right away. Why it looks to me like U.S. indices are still in that breather, which leaves us with do not fall in love with the downside off the whiteboard. 
why medals are taking it on the chin, and I think you've seen that. And please do not forget about the Dodd-Frank liquidity problem. I assure you that if we don't fix this before the next bear market, we will certainly wish we did. More on that if we ever turn into a bear market. All right, traders, I am off to California this week where I am doing cleanup after eight other speakers at a Metastock conference in L.A. I don't know how many of you Omniacs are going to be out there, but I get to do cleanup. You guys speaking before me? You better watch what you say, because you say something that pisses me off, I'm coming after you. I'm here to protect traders, not sell them garbage. Make sure you treat them nicely. Metastock is one of the best companies I've ever, ever done business with. Their staff is fantastic. Their support is fantastic. I've been using them since I'm 18 years old. I can't wait to do the seminar for Metastock. Love you guys. I'll see you guys out in California. All right, traders, remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, to keep those emotions at bay, and we know that is not going to be easy, but try this. Say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, especially when you're in a trade, and you know what that is. Stop so Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.